What's up guys, it's Blake Gaming and welcome back to another video and today we are playing three scary games. This one is called uh Camp. Let's get right into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey stranger. Uh hey. My name's Susan. Friends and I went camping for some fresh air. I've been keeping the fire all night long. While the others were eating marshmallows and being lazy and doing nothing at all. Because of that, I got really tired of doing all the hard work. I could really use some help from you, stranger. If you help me, I will give you something in return. Do you accept my offer? Uh, sure, why not? Yippee, thank you very much. Now let's begin. Press the left and right arrow keys, or the W and the, the A and W keys on your keyboard to move. Collect at least five pieces of firewood to put in the fire. Then go to the fire and press space with the fire when you collect it in the fire. Make sure to keep the fire going for two minutes. Good luck. Okay. Okay, logs put into the fire. Seems simple enough. Boom, five logs. More fire. Okay, logs. Let's go. One. Gotta keep the fire going, baby. No. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. I can do it. Keep the fire going. Come on. No. As much fire as we can. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on! We're so close! Come on! Nope, nope. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Oh no, the music's getting quieter! No, 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 no! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, I'm so close! 14 seconds, come on! I can do it! There's no way! No! No! What have you done? I trust you that you keep the fire going. I tried my best. Sorry, didn't mean to mess up there. How could you do this to me? You know how hard it is to set up a god dang fire? I don't want to hear your help anymore. All I wanted was for you to help me and you failed to do so. Leave me alone! Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's what I get for trying to help. You lose. Huh. I want to try to beat it now. Now I'm determined to beat it. Can I beat it? Or is that it? I think that was it. We are now playing Meatly Storage World. Let's get right into it. Start the game. Welcome to Happy Storage. I need to find my storage unit. Use the remote with the left mouse button. I have a flashlight with the right mouse button. Okay. Huh? 
very important to write down your most personal thoughts and pin them to the wall for everyone to see and make sure they are written like you are saying something else secretly so it seems deep. Okay. Hmm. Reading in dim light is bad for your eyes. Oh, what the? No, I think I'm going to not go that way. See you. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm gonna go somewhere. avoid him. You just go and close my stuff? Don't worry. This is ketchup. Wonderful. Uh oh. I didn't know my flashlight had a battery. Curses. The game was too realistic. I'm going here. See, what happens if I let him get me? So we found the exit. Looks like I need a code. Or oh cool, I'm screwed. I wish I had a flashlight. Batteries? No, it's empty. Only light source I have is this. Hmm. Where's this thing at? I want him to kill me. I want my flashlight back. Come and get me! Welcome to Happy Storage. Alright.
Ah, okay. Now I gotta go around and look for the code. Okay. Now I can exit this place. Oh, you locked the door. I mean, if I had to guess. Probably that meatly guy. But, you know, that's just me. Secret is happening in this place. It's once a nice and happy place, but there's secret secrets everywhere. Gosh, there's so many secrets, especially that one thing that is so secret. I hope nobody's reading this. They would know about the secret. Oh, what? for part two. Nice. Not a bad game. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, and now we are playing the Midnight Monkey. Let's get right into it. For those who know me, it won't for come as- For those who know me, oh. it won't come as a surprise that I'm an avid cool. banana consumer. My love for bananas is far from measurable. Every day at 10 p.m., I ate a delightful banana. I do not know whence my passion for this fruit came. However, questioning one's taste is like questioning life itself. The only thing I know is that I have never kept myself from eating my bananas. Except, of course, for the 4th of June 1997, when I left my 10 p.m. banana for midnight. No. You're gonna start reading it? No? Okay. Good grief, it's midnight already. How could I be so careless? The point of forgetting my evening snack? Anyway, I never repeat this mistake. The banana's in the kitchen waiting for me. My 
My phone. The latest mobile phone in the market right now. Sure. This is my gun, a weapon that I once used to hunt rabbits. Today it hangs around my house in case of emergency. Cool. My kitchen. Cool. No, can't turn my TV on. Can't leave the house. Alright, let's go get that banana. Huh? Where's my banana? I could have swear I left it on the counter. Where could it be? Hmm. Where? Outside, maybe? No, it doesn't let me go outside. Let's check our one office room and then our bedroom and see if it's in there. The office room first. <gasps> hey! Huh? Why is my banana in my office? Hello? Who's there? I'm coming for it. What happened? The lights. What's happening? I can't let them take my banana. I should take my gun just in case. Must protect my banana. Ah! After I left. Oh. I, I clicked so fast. Alright, hold on. I clicked so fast, I couldn't get to read the last part here. We'll, read the, we'll go through and get this done. Sorry, the monkey he just scared me so much. I was, I was fearing for my life. Nobody takes my banana. That's mine. Alright. Gun, yada, yada. Banana. I'm coming for it. The lights went out. Let me get my gun. After I left that hellish site, an investigation was put in place. And in the midst of the police searchings, no banana was there to be found. Till this day, I still hear that devilish monkey screams, and I weep whenever I think of the sweet banana I never ate. Since then, I've set an alarm at 10 p.m. on my watch, so that I may never make the same mistake again. <laughs> okay, now I want to see... What will happen if I let the monkey get the banana? For or don't shoot the monkey? Let's see what will happen if I just don't shoot the monkey. Okay, my banana's not in my kitchen. Where could it be? Now what if I go to my bedroom instead? Nope. Give me my banana. Alright, now let's see what happens if we don't kill the monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. And so that monkey chewed through my flesh and bones and ate every organ that fit in his mouth. In my posthumous existence, I leave one last note to those whose love for bananas is as great as mine. Eat your bananas and enjoy them until the last bite and never leave them for later. All right, what an interesting game. Anyways, guys, if you like this, want to see more content like this, like, subscribe more. I'll see you on the next one.